Muslims, always remember, always remember this reality in this land. You don't need to be a Muslim to sympathize with one side. As I said, if the war was somewhat similar, we could understand the bias of each side. But there is no similarity. The fact of the matter is every neutral person who examines the reality of this situation will come to the same conclusion. Always quote neutral experts and make sure you know these quotes. One of the greatest icons of our century, somebody whom the globe admires is Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in isolation. 27 years because he refused to sign a paper that said, because of the color of my skin are not equal to you. 27 years he was in isolation. I visited his cell. It is smaller than the small little box that I'm in. I visited his cell and I stood there. He had a small window for 27 years. That was his outer reality to the world. He refused as a man of conscience to say, I am lesser of a human being. And when he was in jail, this country of ours and the United Kingdom and Canada and Australia all consider him a terrorist. You should know this. Our country considered Nelson Mandela to be a terrorist only when he was released and the tide of public tide was changed. Was he welcomed as a freedom fighter? Was he welcomed as a, somebody who deserves the Nobel Peace Prize and so on and so forth? Nelson Mandela was a ardent supporter of the Palestinian cause. Multiple times he would speak out and in support of our Palestinian brothers and sisters. And he said, and I quote, that the treatment of the Palestinians is the worst moral crisis of our times. He said this after being in jail 20 27 years after fighting the apartheid South African regime, he said the Palestinian plight is the worst moral crisis of our, our, of our own times. Archbishop Desmond Tutu, the second most prevalent African freedom fighter. Desmond Tutu is the highest ranking member of the Catholic Church. He's passed away now. Widely celebrated, widely known to be a freedom fighter, also having been in jail, also fought apartheid. Archbishop Desmond Tutu visited Palestine multiple times. In a famous interview in the 80s with the most famous journal, journalist alive at the time, David Frost, you can find it on YouTube. David Frost wanted to complain to Desmond Tutu, how come you can describe Israel as an apartheid state? That's not fair. You shouldn't describe Israel as an apartheid state. It's not that bad. Desmond Tutu responded back to him that actually, listen to this, this is on YouTube, actually in some aspects, Palestinians are treated worse than us black South Africans were. In some aspects, it is worse than an apartheid state that I have lived through. This is from Desmond Tutu. Are you going to accuse him of being anti-Semite? Are you going to accuse him of being pro-Palestinian because he's Muslim? He's a archbishop of the Catholic Church. He's not a Muslim, but he has lived through apartheid. He's seen the realities of hate, and now he's experienced it firsthand. The grandson of Nelson Mandela also visited Palestine, and he wrote an op-ed which is published in an Israeli newspaper, the Haaretz, and he wrote an op-ed and he said that what I have seen here is worse than the apartheid that I have experienced growing up. This is the grandson of Nelson Mandela. It is worse than the apartheid I have experienced growing up. Sisters and brothers, you don't need to be a Muslim to recognize the inhumanity of the situation. Know your people, know your quotes. Our own president, Jimmy Carter, he visited those lands and after he left office, he's still alive now, after he left office, he wrote a book. Do you know what the title of the book is? Peace, not apartheid. Peace, not apartheid. That is the title of the book. Our president, are you going to accuse him? He's actually a Christian believer. He's actually a supporter of the faith of Christianity. He's a known person who loves his, his faith and tradition. He's not a Muslim. And yet when he visited, he said, we cannot move forward with this apartheid regime. And he himself acknowledged that Gaza, Gaza is the largest open air prison in the world today. The largest open air prison in the world today. And I can quote you on and on, human rights, Amnesty International, on and on. 